Hello, welcome back. We're back home in the garage. I've got the Mustang home now, and we're just working on pulling out uh, some stuff in the engine bay, rads, condensers, disconnecting anything top side so I can uh, lift it up in the air and then get underneath of it and disconnect the shift linkage and exhaust and pull the drive shaft, stuff like that. Uh, so we can pull the motor out of it and get it in there. So um, nothing too terribly exciting going on. I'm listening to a pretty good podcast today. I've been listening to these guys a lot, um, Past Gas. It's the guys from Donut Media. This one's about Smokey Eunuch. Uh, it's pretty good. If you guys are looking for a podcast to listen to, an automotive related one, and I'm, I'm not like affiliated with these guys or trying to promote them at all, it's just been a pretty good podcast to listen to while I'm working away on the black one here. So yeah, it's good to be back home and in the own, gar in, back home and in my own garage. Uh, and yeah, it's tight in here. It's very tight, but we're going to, uh, we're going to make something happen here in the next few episodes um yeah other than that just gonna keep pecking away at this thing and you guys can hang out with me and watch
Well, there we go, another full day of work on the Mustang. One step closer to pulling the motor out of it. We've got everything topside disconnected, all the fuel lines, um, the engine harness uh, on top side is pulled, AC lines. Uh, so now we've got it up in the air and I've started disassembling the suspension, everything we need to drop the subframe out uh, with the motor. Hopefully I'm planning on doing the style of where I can uh, drop the motor down and then actually lift the chassis of the vehicle up and slide the motor out from underneath because I just don't have I don't have the headspace in this garage to uh, to hoist it, I don't think, and bring it out over top of the the rad support. So we're gonna go top side. But yeah, thanks for sticking around and checking out another video. Uh, hopefully in the next one, we are gonna be making some solid progress on disconnecting the trans uh, and the drive shaft and the exhaust. And uh, if everything goes really well, hopefully we can start dropping the motor down, um, and then from there, it's all downhill. Anyways guys, thanks for checking the video out. If you enjoy the content, please consider subscribing, and we'll see you again real soon.